Hello, I'm John, and this is a series of video clips talking about basic bidding in Bridge using the ACOL bidding system. This is a second video on responding to a suit bid. So let's look at a hand. You've got one, five, nine points in high cards, and perhaps one extra for having a fifth diamond. So it's a 10 point hand, an average sort of hand. But it's your partner that has dealt and is open. Let's do a quick recap. If he's open one no trump and north passes, then you have got maybe 10 points so the maximum you have is 24 points between you. So I would say the best response here is just to say pass. You would go back to your partner who opens a simple one of a suit. And let's begin with what would you do if he opened one club? Well, by opening one club, your partner is saying, I've got. 12 points or more, and that's 12 to maybe even 22 points, and I've got four or more clubs. So you have to do something now. Because he could have a very big hand, then your job is to respond if you've got six points or more. So that's a rule we've discussed before. If you're responding to your partner at the one level and the opposition haven't bid, then if you've got six points or more, you have to bid something. So make sure that you don't just pass because you may be missing a great opportunity. You're not very keen on clubs though. If he's saying one club, you would like to suggest a different suit. And I think the best suggestion here is about diamonds. Just simply say one diamond. And that's telling your partner, partner, I've got six or more points. Tell me a little bit more about your hand. Now that's a new rule which I want to introduce to you, which is this. If you respond with a new suit, then your partner has to bid again. So you'll learn a little bit more about the hand that he has got. So by responding one diamond, you know that he will have a second bid. Now, when you open a hand, you really need to be prepared for that second bid. You've learned something about his hand, but that second bid will really narrow down more precisely what sort of hand he has got. In this case though, bid the longest suit you have and one diamond is great. If your partner had opened instead, not one club, but one diamond, then you've got excited. One diamond from your partner, pass from north. Think about it. You have got nine hard card points and one extra for your diamond. And your partner has got four or more. You're aiming to get eight or more in a suit and you are bound to have nine, possibly more diamonds. So I think you're resolved already to say diamonds is looking very good. And now that singleton club is looking really nice. If diamonds are the chosen suit, then when you have a singleton, 
you can award yourself more points. And I would say that that singleton club is worth maybe two or possibly even three extra points. So now your hand is looking a lot stronger. So one possibility is to tell your partner, diamonds is great. I've got lots of them. And if I go two diamonds, that's just saying, hmm, I've got a weak hand partner, but I like your diamonds. So I want to suggest that two diamonds is not the bid that you need to have here. One possibility is to go three diamonds. Now that's known as a jump bid. One diamond from your partner. You don't have to go three, but you've chosen to go three to make him sit up and think, gosh, my partner has got a stronger hand than six to nine points, and you have ten, maybe even eleven or twelve with that singleton club there. And now he has something to ponder over. But I want to suggest an alternative bid. Your partner has said diamonds, and you're pretty certain that diamonds is the best suit for both of you. But if you go, listen carefully, one spade, you're doing two things. One, you're saying to your partner, I've got six or more points. I've got four or more spades. And by the way, I've introduced a new suit so you have to bid again, partner. So by going one spade, it's not saying, I don't like your diamonds. It's just saying, here's some information, but tell me more about your hand. So let's recap on the rules I'm suggesting for bidding. One, if your partner opens, and the opposition passes, then if you have six points or more, then you must bid. Hopefully you can make this bid at the one level. If you're tempted to bid at the two level, you can only do this with ten points or more. With six to nine points, bid one no trump instead. Rule two, when you reply to your partner's opening is a new suit, you will force your partner to bid again. That is very useful, particularly if you have got a big hand. I'm John Price. Thank you for listening.